Stefan, welcome to MXTV, mate. Thank you. It's good to be here. How did you get started into racing? Obviously, your father, four-time world champion. Four-time world champion. How old were you when you started riding? I've been on bikes since I was a baby nearly, and I've been to all these races. So I've been traveling all my life. I, I was so passionate about, about the sport, and I, I, I loved it, and I still love it. The influence from my dad was, was, of course, really important. I respected my father a lot and what he was doing with me. For him, it was important that I, I always fought until the last meter on the track, and I would never give up. You know, those first five years made me become this, this great champion I'm today, and that's really thanks to my dad. How was it when the first time you beat your father on a bike? What was that like? Well, it was, it was cool, you know. For, for me, it was really important to equal his four titles. You know, it was fun to have four and four, and it was even more fun to really beat him with, with five titles and sometimes we have arguments and then I said, hey dad, listen, I have 10 titles. You only have four, you listen to me now. <laughs> well, of course, you got your son Liam. You have a perfect argument now. Your father will probably want to come into Liam and teach him how to ride. You know, Liam is slowly growing up and we ride together a lot. You know, I have a little pit bike and he needs to have competition all the time. He doesn't like to ride by himself. Wide number 72. 72 is the year I was born. It was quite funny because I always met 72 somewhere next to the freeway. I had a hotel room, was 172. I arrived at the airport one time and we parked on park number 72 with the airplane in Sweden. It was funny, it always came back that number. So for me, it was like something positive. What did you concentrate most on when you're riding? You can go out there and really start pinning and hammering and not ride relaxed and, and very tense. And I always try to build up my, my speed. I go out and, and start to put in laps and laps and laps and I just try to wind myself up. Stefan, you've been around the sport for many, many years. As you said, where do you think the future of motocross is going to be? I can't predict the future, but as far as I can see it, you know, it's coming very tough for motocross to survive. I mean, uh, we have all the problems with the tracks, you know, noise, the neighbors complaining, and I think it's really important that uh, the manufacturers start to reduce the noise as quick as possible. Do you miss racing at all? And if you do, what do you miss most about it? The first years I missed it more often. Like now, it's, it's less and less. I still feel great on the bike when I ride. I still have this great feeling, and I still feel that I have that skill like I had before. What I miss most is uh, just to go out on the track and hit the berm exactly the same way, and again, the same, and that's what I always loved. It gave me a great feeling.